Babysitter's Little Sister by Katie Farna. Karen's Roller Skates. Chapter One. Look out! Look out! Coming through. My name is Karen Brewer. I'm all seven. I'm almost seven years old. I'm a world champion skater. Well, maybe not world champion, and maybe not a champion at all. But I'm good, very good. These are the things I can do: go forward, go forward fast, go backward, not as fast, turn around, stop without falling down, try any trick. Actually, my parents only allowed me to do some tricks, even though I want to try every single one. My parents call me a daredevil. Maybe I am a daredevil. I like to leap over things. I like to fly over humps in the sidewalk. Coming through. I try to remember to be careful, but sometimes I forget. It's fun to go fast. When I go fast, I feel like I'm flying. Karen, Andrew, come inside. It almost it almost time to go to Daddy's house. Okay. Mommy and Daddy got divorced and then married other people. This weekend, me and my brother Andrew are going to stay at Daddy's. I can't wait for a weekend of roller skating. Here's a new trick I want to try. I'm so glad it's Saturday. Wait, where are Moosey and Tickly? Oh, Moosey, sorry, Tickly. I don't get to see Moosey often. He lives at Daddy's house. I have two of almost everything. I even have two of Tickly. We cut him in half after I kept forgetting him at one or the other house. The big house is Daddy's. It really is a big house. Lots of people live in it. Charlie, Daddy, Christy, David Michael, Elizabeth, Shannon, Sam, and Boo Boo. Do you want to hear something spooky? And next door is the big house with a witch. Really, cross my heart. She grows magic herbs in her backyard and has a weird cat named Midnight. This little house is Mommy's. The only people who live there are Mommy, Seth, Andrew, and me, plus Seth's dog, Midget, and a cat named Rocky. I like all these people of both houses. So does Andrew. But sometimes we wish that we all lived in just one house. Then I could see you every day, Moosey. Well, it's time to get up. The sun is bright. I think it's time to try my new trick. Chapter 2 I can only wear my roller skates outside. It's a rule in the big house. It's a rule at the little house, too. Karen! Yes, I'm out front. Honey, would you take Shannon for a walk, please? I want to walk Shannon and go skating. What should I do? Oh, I know. Sure. Thanks, Karen. You're welcome. Hey, Andrew. Want to help me walk Shannon? I've got a great idea. I know how we can walk Shannon and I can roller skate. And you can ride your trick. How? Look at this. You ride your trike and let Shannon run beside you. I'll skate ahead of you that Shannon doesn't get tangled up with me, okay? Okay. Now take Shannon. I need to put on my roller skates. Oh no, I left my wrist guards inside. Oh well, I don't really need them. Ready, set, go! Hey, Andrew, want to see a really cool trick? Sure. I'm going to leap over these cans. I saw a woman on TV do it. She jumped over six, but I only tried two. Oh, Karen, do you think you should? I'm nervous too, but I have to try this trick. I did it. Andrew, my wrist is broken. Oh, Karen, get daddy. Whole channel, she keep you company. Karen, does it hurt? Just don't shake me around, okay? I should have worn my wrist guards. Don't worry about that now. My wrist is broken. 
We need to go take her to the emergency room. Karen, would you like it if I went to the hospital with you? Okay, Karen, let's go. I'll see you soon, sweetie. I know everything will be all right. Just try to be brave. Scream and cry if you feel like it. Okay. There's the emergency entrance. Chapter 3. Wow. Did I ever tell you about the time I broke my ankle? The hospital smells like medicine. Yeah. Yucky, bad mes medicine. It's scary. I'm Watson Brewer, and this is my daughter, Karen. She had an accident and hurt her wrist. Right this way. My name is Nancy. I'm one of the nurses here. You'll have to wait for the bone doctor. Fixing bones is his specialty. While you're waiting for him, we're going to take x-rays of your wrist bones and give you a sling to wear. The bone doctor will be here soon. His name is Dr. Humphrey. I'm bored. Hmm, well, how about a joke? Where do, where, where do you find elephants? It depends on where you left them. <laughs> Are you the bone doctor? Yes, I'm Dr. Humphrey. You must be Karen Brewer. How are you feeling? Okay. Your wrist is broken, but the good news is that it's pretty clean break, so it's easy to fix. All you need is a cast, and then we can send you right home. Karen, can you tell me, in your own words, how you broke your wrist? I was roller skating, and I jumped over some coffee cans, but I landed okay, and then something happened, and I fell. It sounds like you're a real daredevil. Next time, make sure you wear your wrist guards. Let's get to the cast on you now. It should be very quick. It weighs so much. Here you go. Now your arm won't feel so heavy. You should start to feel better soon. How am I supposed to button my buttons? How am I supposed to feed Shannon and Boo Boo or Rocky and Midgey with just one hand? Karen, Karen, how's your wrist? Does it hurt? Did you cry? What did the doctor do? Poor Karen. Hey, Karen, we, we fixed your place in the den. You can spend the rest of your day here there. Yeah, we set up pillows, a blanket, and your books. And I'll let Shannon stay with you. Thank you, but I can't read this now. I don't feel well. How about calling mommy? That might me make you feel better. I spoke to her earlier and I know she wants to talk to you. I do feel better. What's on TV? I'll check. I'm hungry. I'll go tell my mom. Here, for a dessert. Wow, thanks. Hey, Andrew, get my coloring book. No, I'm busy. David Michael, you get my coloring book. Get it yourself, you can walk. I don't like drawing with this hand. Come sit with us at the table, Karen, it's time to eat. Can I eat on the couch? Do you need to? No. Hmm. Maybe Charlie will give me a candy bar again. Hmm. I hate this TV show. Hmm. I'm not sleepy. Well, try to get to sleep anyway. <laughs> Chapter 4 Oh, morning. I feel much better. My only hurts a little. Well, Musia, I'm not going to waste my day lying around on the couch. I'm going to play outside. There's nothing wrong with my legs. Maybe I can even go skating later. Today I'm gonna do everything by myself. I don't need any help. This is hard, I feel like a baby. I did it! Why, Karen, who helped you get dressed? I thought Chrissy was asleep. She is, I did it all myself. I can do anything. You cannot do anything. I can too, I'll prove it. See? Okay, okay. Karen, you must be feeling better. I'm fine. 
I know one thing you can't do. I bet you can't use the can of burner. I bet you can't feed Boo Boo. We'll just see. Well, that's the only thing I can't do. I can dress myself, I can brush my hair, I can eat. I'm sure I can go roller skating. Oh no, you can't. But I didn't break my legs, just my wrist. No roller skating, not for a long time. If you fell now, you could hurt your wrist even more. Aw, oh, daddy. You have to go back to the hospital this morning anyway. Mr. Humphrey wants to check your cast. You might even need another x-ray. Back to the hospital? I don't want to go. Can I come? It's not very fun. We'll just be sitting and waiting. I want to see the hospital. Hospitals are interesting. Interesting. Well, can I go? Sure. How come we're going to the emergency room? I'm not in emergency anymore. Because Dr. Humphrey doesn't have an office like a regular doctor does. He just fixes bones here at the hospital. Hey, let's play hospital, Andrew. It'll be a good waiting game. Okay, how do we play? You'll be the sick person and I'll be the doctor. You come to my hospital and I'll fix you up. What's the matter with me? Whatever you want. Oh, my leg is broken. Hmm, I think you need a cast. Now a very, very, very sore throat. You might need this medicine. It tastes yucky, but you have to take it 17 times a day. Then your throat will feel better. Thank you. Now. Now I have a big cut on my hand. It's bleeding. Ew. Okay, first we put this goop on it, and then, and then a band-aid. And then Karen Brewer? She's right here. Bro, doctor time. Okay, sit right up here on the bed. Now just wait a few more minutes and Dr. Humphrey will be in. This is a real doctor's office. I see bandages and those fluffy scissors and medicine for cuts. That medicine is called Bakitharsin. Very good. Maybe you'll grow up to be a doctor, Karen Brewer. Okay, let's see. Does it hurt? No. Does this hurt? No. Yes, ow! Sorry, Karen, tell me, one more time, how did you break your wrist? Okay, I was roller skating on our sidewalk, I set up four coffee cans, and they jumped over all of them. I landed perfectly. I know that's not what really happened, but I don't want to tell anyone I fell while turning. It was my best trick ever, I even twisted in the air. Karen? But just after I landed, I saw this big caterpillar on the sidewalk caterpillar. I didn't want to squish it so I tried to leap around it, but I lost my balance. My feet went out under me. I put my hand out like this, I landed on them, and then crunch my wrist broke. Okay, let's take a look at your x-rays. To went four cats. Okay, for a couple of weeks, you'll come here every Wednesday for x-rays. In two weeks, we'll snap this cast, a lighter one. Then you'll only have x-rays every two weeks. And eight weeks from now, we'll take off the cast for good. Eight weeks? That's a long time. Well, yes, it is. It's two months. I don't want to wear this for two months. I want to go to roller skating. Not until your wrist has healed. Boo. Wait. Will I be able to go to school? Oh yes, in a few days your wrist won't hurt at all. You'll be able to hold a pencil to write, even with the cast on. Darn, I was hoping for a vacation. I thought yesterday had been a bad day, but today is worse. No roller skating for two months, and I have to go to school anyway. Goodbye, Karen. Bye. Chapter 5 Look, Karen, there's a boy with a cast just like yours, only on his foot. I know that boy. That's Ricky. He's in my class. Hi, Karen. Look, I broke my ankle. I broke my wrist. How did you break your ankle? I fell down the stairs. How did you break your wrist? Roller skating. I jumped over a, a five cans lined up on the sidewalk. I did a double twist in the air, then I landed. It was perfect. Karen. 
it was perfect except that I saw this caterpillar and her baby caterpillar and hey cool what's all this stuff in your cast who wrote it my friends and my mom and dad brother and sister but when did you break your ankle how did Ricky have time to show his cast to so many people and get so many signatures I broke it on Friday right after school oh Ricky was able to show his cast around all day on Saturday is Dr. Humphrey your bone doctor yup is he yours Yep, yeah, how long do you have to wear your cast? Six weeks, how about you? Eight weeks, my broken bone must be worse than yours. I guess so. Boy, I can't wait for school tomorrow. Everyone will crowd around to see my cast. They all want to sign it and know how I broke it. Mine too, they want to see mine too. But they'll want to see mine more. Mine is more interesting. I have lots of signatures. And you know what? By tomorrow morning, I'll have Herbert Gregory's signature. The baseball player? He's famous. How are we going to get him to sign your cast? He's my dad's friend. Well, we better be going. Karen, say goodbye to Ricky. Bye, Ricky. Bye, Karen. I have to get people to sign my cast. I have to get lots of people to sign my cast. I can't let Ricky go to school with a better cast than mine. But how will I get a signature as good as Herbert Gregory's? Hey everyone, Elizabeth, Christy, Charlie, so Karen, don't shout. But this is important. I need people to sign my cast right now. Look, here's a red pen. Take this with you and go find them. Just calm down. There's no need to yell. Thank you. Hey, you guys, come here. What? Look at that. You made me miss. I did not. Now come here. I want you to sign my cast. Really? Can you write your name or something funny or draw a picture? Sure. Yours are the banana splits, Sam. Roses are red. Cabbages are green. My face is funny, but yours is a scream. Your brother, Charlie. David Michael? Get well soon, David Michael. That's great, thank you guys. By the way, do you know anyone famous? No, sorry. That's okay. Christy, you send my cast. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. Love, Christy. Send my cast, Andrew. Andrew. Hey, do you know anyone famous? Nope. You're still ice creams, love, Elizabeth. Thank you. Do you know anyone famous? I don't think so, honey. Why? A boy in my class broke his ankle. We saw him at the hospital, too. He already has a lot of signatures on his cast, and he, he said by tomorrow he'll have Herbert Gregory's signature. No one is going to care about my wrist. Oh, I see. Hey, I have an idea. Come with me. Boo Boo isn't famous, but this is a very special autograph. And there's Shannon autograph. Thanks, that's neat, Elizabeth. These are good, but not good enough. I still need a really, really special auto autograph if I want to beat Ricky. But where am I supposed to get that? Chapter 6 Elizabeth may go over to Hattie's, and then maybe Amanda Delany's. I want some more autographs for my cast. I need to go visiting. I'll get lots of signatures from our neighbors. I can ask them if they know anyone famous. Sure, just be careful, and come home if your arm starts to hurt. Okay, thanks. I can't wait to show Hattie my cast. Karen, what happened? I broke my wrist. Hey, everyone, come here! Karen, how did you break your wrist? I was showing Andrew a new trick. Mm, five cans doesn't seem like enough for a broken wrist. What's a really interesting story? I lined up seven coffee cans on the sidewalk. Then I skated towards those cans so fast I was almost flying. 
I was flying, I did a triple twist in the air, then I landed. And that's when you fell? Nope, I landed perfectly. But I saw a mother caterpillar and her three caterpillar babies. But I didn't want to squish them, so I tried to jump over them too. That's when I fell. Did you fall on the cap caterpillars? What? Oh, no, they were all safe. Would all of you like to sign my cast? I need autographs on it. Look, even Shannon and Boo Boo have signed it. I'll go get a pen. Get one that isn't red. I guess Sari is a little to sign it. Is to sign it, isn't she? Yes, but how would you like another paw print? I think I could get Noodle's autograph. Thank you very much, Noodle. By the way, does anyone here know a famous person? No. I know a dog catcher. I know the mayor. You do? Could he send my cast? I need a famous autograph before tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry, Karen. He's not in town this weekend. That's okay. Hey, Karen, how about a, a claw pin print? That would be cool. We'll get Marty to sign your cast. Thanks, everybody. I have to go now. I'm going to ask some more people to send my cast. Want to come with me, honey? Where are you going first? Over to Amanda Daly's? Cameron Brewer, how could you do that to me? You know Amanda and I are very big enemies. I'm sorry, honey. I need Amanda to sign my cast. And Max and their mom and dad. Well, I'm not going. Okay, then don't. I won't. Good. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. I wish Hanny had to come with me. It's silly for her not to like Amanda, and it's silly for Amanda not to like Hanny. Hi, Shannon. Are you babysitting for Amanda and Max? Yes, I am. Karen, what happened to your arm? Well, I was doing a trick for Andrew. I lined up 10 coffee cans and skated for them really fast. I jumped over them, flew through the air, and landed perfectly. And when I broke my wrist, the police had to come. And an ambulance! I just love telling stories. This one is going to be one of my best. No one will ever know that I've fallen just by turning around. Will we send my cast? Sure. Thanks. By the way, Shannon and Boo Boo and Noodle put their paw prints on my cast. And Marty put her claw print on it. Maybe Pelissa could send my cast too. How did you get their paw prints? With an ink pad? Ink? No way. I don't want Pelissa's paw to get dirty. Okay. Hey, do any of you know someone famous? Why? I need someone famous on my cast by tomorrow. It's important. I don't know anyone. Me neither. This boy in my class? Well, he has an aunt who's, who has a friend who goes to this hairdresser. And this hairdresser once cut Francis Morden's hair. Who's Francis Morden? A singer, I think. Well, thank you, but your friend probably couldn't send my cast before tomorrow. Besides, it would be better if Francis Morden could do it herself. Hey, guess what? I hear bells. Mr. Tasty's coming. Chapter 7 Hooray, the ice cream man! And have some money with me. Can we have ice cream money, Shannon? Please? Are you mad at me? Not really. Are you mad at me? Nope. Stop, stop here, Mr. Tasty. Karen Brewer, what on earth did you do to yourself? Well... And then, after the fire trucks got here, the helicopters... Karen, are you sure that's what happened? No, it's not. That's a very big story. There were only two coffee cans, and there were no caterpillars, or police cars, or fire engines, or helicopters. Why don't you tell us the truth, Karen? Okay. I only landed over two cans. I landed okay, too. I can't believe Mr. Tasty's real name is Roger Jones. No, I still don't have a special autograph. What about Mr. Tasty? 
I'm not sure. Ricky might have his too. Darn, I forgot to ask if Mr. Tasty knew anyone famous. I need to do some thinking. That's where I fell. That's where my skates are. Are you going to be stuck in the garage for weeks and weeks? That's my beta destiny. I bet she's gathering herbs for a spell. What kind of spell? I don't know, something awful. Maybe a spell to take away birthdays. A spell to take away birthdays? No! Shh! Boy, isn't it just my luck that I live next door to a witch? I'm sure she's only a witch in town, and she lives- Hey, that's it! I mean, hey, that's it. That's what? <laughs> Nothing, never mind. I could get my beta destinies to sign my cast. Ricky wouldn't have a witch's autograph. And a, witch a witch's autograph would be better than Herbert Gregory's any day. But how will I get the witch's autograph? I would have to get in her house, or at least into her yard. She would have to touch my cast. Am I brave enough for all that? Of course I am. Well, I will be if someone comes with me. Someone like Henny Papadakis. That's all I need. A friend. Henny, want to come over for a while? Sure. See you. See y'all later. I'm glad you're not mad at me anymore. I'm glad too. Since we're friends again, will you help me with something? What do you need help with? I want you to come over to M Mavita Destiny's with me. Chapter 8 No. I'm not going to the witch's house again. The last time we went over there, we got in very big trouble. We won't do anything wrong this time. And in fact, we're going to do something nice. We're going to ask Mor Mrs. Porter for her autograph. Don't you think that'll make her happy? She'll think we like her. She we won't get in trouble for that. But aren't you afraid of her, Karen? She's a witch. I know, I think. We'll be safe, though. I if we go over soon, she'll still be outside in her garden. She wouldn't hurt us then. Why not? Because everyone would see. Our friends are right across the street. The witch won't do anything with people watching. I know she won't. Maybe not. Don't you want me to have the best cast in our class tomorrow? Yes. Then will you help me? Yes. Yay! Okay, now we have to think about how we're going to ask Morbida Desi for her autograph. Can't you just say, please sign my cast? What if she wants to know why I wanted her to sign my cast? I can't tell her it's because she's a witch. Then say it's because... It's because... Oh, I don't know, Karen. You'll think of something, won't you? I guess so. I don't know why I'm helping you. I do, because you're my friend. Now, we'd better protect yourself while we're next door. We need some lucky charms. I'll put my lucky rabbit's foot in my pocket. And you can put... Let's see. You can put my lucky stone in your pocket. This way we'll be safe. Ready? I hope so. Keep your hand on the stone the whole time. I'll keep... Uh-oh. What's wrong? That. She's gone. She's probably inside now. We'll have to ring her doorbell. No! It's the only way, honey. Look, everybody is still outside and Shannon's safe with them now. We'll be safe. So we'll ring the witch's doorbell, she'll stand on her porch, and then she'll answer the door. I'll ask her for her autograph. Simple. We won't go inside or anything. Alright. Are you hiding the stone? Good. Hold it tight. I'm holding the rabbit's foot. Our lucky charms will protect us. Yes? It's us, Karen Brewer and Hani Papadakis. Well, what can I do for you girls? I broke my wrist. Would you, um, would you please send my cast? How did you break it? I was skating and I fell down. Hmm. I know it isn't very exciting, but that's what happened. Why do you want my autograph? Because she's in the cast signing class? Because you're my neighbor. Let's see here. Where had that pen been hiding? What am I doing? I can't believe I'm letting a witch sign my cast. 
And maybe I should pull my arm back. There we go. Oh no, she already sent my cast. A black cat? Oh, why did she draw that? What is it, a spell? Maybe it's a sign that she'll attract other witches. Thanks, Mrs. Porter. Chapter 9 Let's show everyone the witch's signature. If no one else seems worried about the black cat, then I won't be either. Look, Mrs. Porter sent my cast. Big deal. Look, Mrs. Porter sent my cast. Your guest went over to Mrs. Porter's? I thought you were afraid of her. Very nice. She even drew a little picture of Midnight. Oh, Midnight. That's what it is. I'm sure Mrs. Porter was happy that you wanted her autograph. She's so lonely. Visits from kids, mu kids must mean a lot. Come on, honey. Let's go count my autographs. Tabitha Porter, a witchy sounding name. So I wish Mr. Porter had written more Beat of Destiny so everyone would know it's an autograph of my witch. Well, I'll tell them. I was with you, you know. Thank you. I finally got a special signature. My cast may not be better than Ricky's, but it will be just as good. Karen! What? It's time for you and Andrew to get ready to go back to your mom's house. All right. Bye, honey. See you in school tomorrow. Thank you for helping me. What a weekend, Karen. It was exciting, wasn't it? I'll say. Think of everything that happened. I got a witch's autograph. You got a witch's autograph? How about having an accident and breaking your own wrist? And going to the hospital twice? Getting x-rays, meeting a bone doctor, getting lots of signatures, and seeing Ricky and his cast. Right, but you know what? I hope we don't have to do this kind of excitement too often. I wouldn't mind. I have the best cast ever. When I go to school tomorrow, I will be a star. You will be a co-star. Ricky will have a cast too. Yeah, darn old Ricky. Come on, your mom will be here any minute. Goodbye, goodbye. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Steph. My poor Karen. My upper hardly hurts at all. And look at all the autographs on my cast. And now you and Steph could sign it. I'll sign your cast at home, honey. Hey, how would you like the autograph of a famous person? My friend Amy Morris is in Stony Brook this weekend. Maybe we could visit her tonight. Amy Morris, the movie star? She's a friend of yours and she's here? Yes. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. I'm looking for someone famous and I didn't find anyone. And then I stopped looking and found somebody. Oh well, whether we see Amy Morse or not, we'll still have only one of the witch's autograph. And now I really can't wait for school tomorrow. Hello everybody. Guess what happened to me this weekend? Hi, Karen. Wow, Karen broke her wrist. Does it hurt? Can I sign it? Can I carry your books? How did you break your wrist? Look, I got a signature from Amy Morris and also Marbita Destiny. It's true, I was there. Hi, Ricky. Hi, Karen. Um, do you want to look at each other's signatures? I want to see what Herbert Gregory wrote. Yeah, and I want to see Amy Morris's signature.